Hi, this is Sofa Dolls, and here is my girls. They are wearing Halloween outfits. I didn't get them all dressed for Halloween, but I have 30 of them in costumes. Three of them are wearing outfits that I bought at Walmart last year from the My Life As doll collection that they have. I looked really a long time in many Walmarts, many trips, trying to get this year's um, My Life As outfits, and unfortunately, I was unable to find them. But I did buy a couple of hats from My Life As, and I made a couple of costumes to go with them. And I do have one girl dressed in an American Girl outfit that I think goes pretty well with the hat. I am going to take the time though to show you, like I'll set them up in probably five or six at a time and do a little bit of a close up to show you what they all are wearing. Um, but I did think it was cute to get a group photo. I always love um, group photos. They're not the easiest thing to do with dolls, but once you do it, it does look pretty nice. Um, and I'm really happy, like I said, most of these are handmade by me. Um, and I will go ahead and give you a little close up on which doll it is and what they are wearing. Um, and as you're watching this, please keep in mind which one is your favorite outfit and comment down below which costume that you chose that you like the most. Or you can tell me or which costume that you wore for Halloween. I love um, interacting and finding out, you know, reading comments. So please be sure to let me know. I'm gonna get the girls now and do a little close up. Here is the first row of girls on the left as Shakira. She is wearing, she is dressed as a panda bear and the hat I bought at My Life As about two or three years ago and she's wearing an off-white little winter outfit I got from American Girl a few years ago and I think it makes a really cute little panda outfit. Next to her is Liberty and her outfit was inspired from the hat. I bought the hat at um, Walmart on the day before Halloween and I just came home and sewed up the little cat suit to match and so it's made with purple and pink. Next to her is Lestina and she is um, a Nikki doll that I gave um, some light brown eyes and she is wearing a cute little Kermit outfit that I made and happens to be my husband's favorite costume that I made this year. Next to her is a rewig doll and she is a little unicorn. I bought the hat at Walmart uh, two days before Halloween and I really wanted their unicorn outfit but I never did find it. So I went ahead and got the hat and then I came home and found that I had that perfect matching pink fabric so I made her a little outfit to be a little unicorn. And um, let me show you the back of her little, she has a little tail. I wanted to show you that both girls do have little tails. There's a little tail on the cat outfit and a little tail of the unicorn. On the far right is Isabel, and of course she is dressed as a ladybug. I saw this idea on like making a little tulle skirt, a little cotton blouse, and how to make the wings and the little antennas from when I was looking on the internet, and I did that about two or three years ago. A really cute little costume that I like. So let me get on to the next row of girls. Here is my next row of girls, and I'm sorry that none of them are wearing shoes. Um, I did a lot of changing of doll outfits, and I just got tired and did not wear, they did not put their shoes on this year. On the far left, she is dressed as a cute little pinata. I made that costume last year from a video that I saw on YouTube. And then I have four M&Ms. In the blue is Jess, and I think that's my second Jess that I named Jessamine. Next to her is my daughter's look-alike doll named London in the yellow M&M. The green M&M is Vivian, and on the far right is Cinnamon in the orange M&M. And I really like how the M&Ms go together. I was hoping to make more, it just didn't happen, maybe next year. Moving along, here are five more girls. On the left in the pink animal print like little kitty is Chantel. Next to her in the purple animal print is Aurora. The owl, and I made those costumes, I don't know, years and years ago. Next to her in the center is the owl. Francie is wearing that, and I did that again from a, two, um, it was inspired from a YouTube video from another um, American Girl doll collector. Next to her is, um, that is the cute little Aerie, and she is a zebra, which I really like this costume. I came home the day before Halloween and went to get some other fabric and found this in my fabric stash. And if you many of you have heard, I have a, I like to collect patterns and fabric. And I had that mane, which I think, and the stuff for the tail, it worked out really perfect, and I really like the zebra costume. And on the far right is McKenna, and she is dressed as a pilgrim. 
Here is a little close up though of Aerie's costume. As you can notice, I just love, like I said, the mane on her costume and I love the tail with the black little fur tuft on the end. Oh no, oh no, my husband just got home and let out the cat. I've had her, They, the cats love to knock down my dolls. Hopefully nothing happens. I've had her in a room so she wouldn't bother the, my dolls and he just let them out. Here are my little Care Bear group of dolls. I made these costumes this year. I have another video if you'd like to see more on these costumes. At the end, I will be sure to leave a little link that you can um, click on it to see this, where I go into more details, a video about this. But on the left is Wish Bear, and the yellow is Funshine Bear, then Tender Heart Bear, Love A Lot Bear, Grumpy Bear, and on the far right is Friend Bear. Here is the next group of girls. There's four more. Three of them are wearing outfits. So that these are the ones I was mentioning from My Life As from Walmart. And the far left, so they're on the far left, is my little uh, fairy, or, and she has wings on the back. This is Zayday. Next to her is Charlene, and she is dressed as a beautiful mermaid. The bumblebee costume is Ebonita and uh, she was actually twinning with me the other day because my costume for this year was a, hollow, a bunny bee. And on the far right is Scarlet, and she's wearing a costume that I made a few years ago with like a sock, a tutu, and some wings that I made. I'll turn all the girls around so you can see the wings. There are the three girls with their wings. The two on the left are the store-bought ones, and the one on the far right is the set that I made, and I think I got that idea from American Girl Fan, the website. And my final row of girls' dress. On the left is Mia. Next to her in the pink is Trishel. In the blue is my first Melanie Martinez doll. And then I have my other Melanie Martinez doll in the white with the pink. And on the far right is Nanea. All of these are costumes that I've made. The four on the left rabbit costumes were I made this year. And the one that's a solid pink was the first rabbit costume that I made probably over 10 years ago. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of all of the girls I dressed for Halloween. And please, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite costume that you saw tonight was. And check out my Instagram, Sofa Dolls. Come back soon. I'm going to have a lot more videos as the holidays are coming with Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I have some Our Generation um, outfit reviews, some more wigs and customizing and all that fun stuff. And um, so just keep enjoying your dolls until the next video. Bye-bye.